All right, guys, I'm ready right. to go. Cool. cool. I'll start the uh, matchmaking. Yeah, sorry to, to uh, hijack your session there. I saw you were online. Thought you might want to join us. I mean, let's be real, man. I, I see a game invite by a developer of the game I love. I'm going to accept <laughs> that. <laughs> Can't say no to that, right? Not at all. How have you guys been doing on Rancor? Well, we're doing good. Um, just a lot of people have new jobs right now, so it's finding time to scrim for the championship league is uh, proving difficult. <laughs> ah, I gotcha. But, I mean, we've got like a 44-player strong Discord, so... Oh, wow. I know it's not huge, but... And people know who we are, so... That's all we could ask for. One of the things that this game absolutely did is it pulled all of the guys like from our old community, and I'm talking like way old community, like the original X-Wing, like Flight Sim Forum on CompuServe. Yeah. Community. So good. Well, like, I mean... Like nearly 30 years ago, guys that I've known that long like have come out of the woodwork to rejoin squadrons and play together, which is just... I mean, I think that's the other benefit of this game too, is not only does it completely scratch that itch, uh, of the, you know, the uh, VR X Men game I've always wanted, uh, mm -hmm. but flying with my friends that I've known for God knows how long now, even before I was a dev, uh, is just so much fun. Awesome. It's been really definitely. kind of heartwarming to see some of the messages of like people playing. Like one guy messaged me, actually, and up works for ILM now, who, oh, cool. as a kid, played the original. Uh, I, think, I don't think it was X Wing. I think it was XBT uh, right. uh, with his with his dad. And now, it's all these years later, his dad has never done anything in VR. He doesn't know the squadrons exist. And so right. he got his dad squadrons for Christmas and got them all set up in VR and everything and played it with him. And it was oh just this God. awesome father-son bonding experience. And uh, so I love to hear that kind of story. Oh, that's amazing. So, yeah. I mean, let's, there, I know a ton of people, including myself, that have been just waiting for a game like this for years. Like, right. Battlefront 1 had the Starfighter Assault or whatever it was called. And it was like, oh, this is fun, but it's really arcadey, right? And then Battlefront yeah. 2 as well. And then finally, like, I've been waiting for this game for 15 years. <laughs> awesome. What's up, Amani? And just so you know, so you really don't talk about anything we shouldn't talk about they can't hear you on stream is that okay yep 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 okay so pag might not want to start just like quoting the source code verbatim i know you you do that sometimes <laughs> <laughs> hold it in so from my understanding this was kind of like a passion project for you guys at the start or was this like a planned title yeah, yeah actually uh, james and pat do you want to tell the story uh, yeah, Pat, you still there? Oh, have we lost oh, Pat? Pat? Yeah. Having troubles with uh. chat before. Um, yeah, yeah, basically, uh, while Pat and I were working on Battlefront 2 uh, campaign, was it, uh, the Criterion folks in, uh, in England, and, um, yeah, we were sitting in a pub and kind of chatting about how we'd love to take the tech that we uh, developed for that and, and make a uh, proper X-Wing versus TIE Fighter remake. I mean, originally, Bill, I wanted to, like, totally, like, just one for one remake the campaign. Oh, right that on. Was a power. Yeah. I'm like, this, you know, <laughs> we didn't think we were going to get any resources or anything, so we figured it would be very right. small, and, you know, we thought, well, well, you can, if you're allowed to do it, let's, like, uh, not, not oh, reinvent so, the wheel. Yeah. I love that campaign. I thought it was brilliant. So, oh, so cool. Thank you. Know, we still have box from early on that we're breaking down with the campaign or mission design or, or the actual oh, really? oh, wow. stats and stuff. Like we went, we performed surgery on uh, on XBT and the original Tie Fighter. Yeah. Um, in pre-production. That's oh, crazy. Cool. Wow. Yeah, I, I'd actually done like a VR version of the Battle of Endor, like uh, just an X-wing simulator thing uh, a couple of years ago. And, Oculus? Was that out on... Because I think I have that. Nice. Hey. They can't hear me anymore. 
because we're in a load screen. Hey guys. There he is. Yeah. yeah. I guess if you quit the game, it cuts you out of void. Uh, yeah, it does so in the load screens. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can hook y'all up with a Discord invite if you want it. That's nah, alright. Ooh, Captain Khan, I've played him before. Legend 4. Let's do it. Alright, here we go. Yeah, I talked to Pat, he's having some kind of audio problems. Uh, I'm here. Oh, you're back! Yeah, so if you quit the uh, the game before the timeout in the previous match, uh, it doesn't cut you back in until the next match starts. Ah, uh, I see. Or, I like when we're in the front were... end. Yeah, that was we're completely session, out. I guess. Yeah, I it like, removes me from the VoIP session. Uh, mm. I, think I was going to say, I think I, I, think I have the, um, the VR Battle of Endor, if that was the one that was done for the Oculus. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got that, that really? Awesome. Yeah. It's, uh, it's kind of embarrassing to put it side by side to this now, but uh, seriously, like, I, as I was doing that, I'm like, imagine I can have a dev team that do a proper version of this. It would have been amazing. All you needed was several million dollars and over 100 people. I don't see the reason. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I had so much fun with that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, and you should see some of my Unity prototypes today. They're like totally jank. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been jumping back into Unity for the break. Rusty, but it's fun. Well, that's mostly what we use uh, at DigiPen, like either uh, Unity or Unreal. Most of what the students end up using. Yeah, that's sort of good. Gotcha. Folks out there use uh, Twine at all if you have any like uh, branching narrative classes, that kind of thing. Yeah, actually, we have narrative classes have been using Twine a whole lot. So y'all y'all teach as well? I do. I've been uh, teaching in Digipen for the last ten years. Oh man, that's really cool. Uh oh, we're all on a wing. I an email. I almost went to Digipen. It was very very close. You know, it's really funny, after it's Crimson Skies, uh, and I was in between gigs, I was like, you know what, I'd really like to go get my degree, and I was actually thinking about going to DigiPen, but then I ended up landing a job at another local studio, and then a couple years later, DigiPen asked me to come teach for him. I'm like, well, that feels really weird. <laughs> but, yeah. By the way, I loved Crimson Skies. Oh, that, awesome. That so was bad. like a model, like a perfect flight model for me, it just... It just felt so right playing that game. And it's, it's all a lie, because all you're doing is moving the camera. There's no model whatsoever. It's just our animators did such a great job. Don't tell him, man! Game. I know, but it's... I <laughs> Everything's always a lie. It's always <laughs> a lie. So, hey, can we, can we put it... Could it... Can we put it to rest, the argument, uh, directly on stream, that the game is to scale? Please? Oh my god, I'm so tired of that. Like, okay. uh, me too. I know <laughs> it is. It is to scale. I've seen your post. Been to scale, and it was a pain in the ass to make it to scale. Yes, <laughs> yes it is. <laughs> yeah, like, like it's been this nightmare of how do you how do you keep that sense of speed while also keeping the sense of scale while also being true to lore and like it's yeah. you know, three years worth of work to achieve that. But we also need to make sure that gameplay like you have visibility basically like you have decent peripheral awareness. Uh -huh. uh, if you're playing in 2D. So we mess with the field of view of the camera to make sure that you actually have decent kind of left to right perspective. But the downside of that is it means that everything gets a little bit compressed when you're looking at it out the window. So like if you okay, that, that makes shorter, sense. It, looks, it makes things look narrower, right? Which, yeah, for you know, sure. We're willing to do that trade off in order to have the visibility, but then I end up watching all these, these threads of people going, no, oh, it's not to scale. Single tier falls, you know? <laughs> Well, it's been it's been put to rest now. Uh, <laughs> Although, to be honest, I've seen so many of those posts that you've also commented on. Well, you, I'm sure we'll, we'll always have those posts. There's there's no escaping. But uh, <laughs> there we go. On right here. Got dueling with a tie defender. 
<laughs> we have no it's a bad idea. Well, if, if they start running more TIE Defenders, I'll start running Ions, but with just one, it's probably better just to, like, I hate to say this, ignore him. Yeah, we just wasted each other's time for like five minutes. Yeah. Either, we either need to ignore him or just gang up on him really good. Especially if he does know how to um, dead drift well. Yeah, he was just micro drifting back and forth. Yeah, he's Revan's uh, death row is at five, four health. I got him. Khan is weak now. 13 health, little shields. I'm gonna need to switch builds. I don't have the patience for this. Your defender is near death. Uh, 13 health on a defender. That's true. He's near full health, essentially. But he's not overcharged at the moment. Yeah, I've been pestering him, but I can't go with him much longer. The shield man is pretty good. Like he's. Oh, there we go. No, I, I, is that guy which back my old he is on the Xbox. I played with him there, a long time ago. Sorry, what's that? Captain Khan. One of the guys on the other, on the Xbox. Other team is, uh, level 225. Yep, that's Ca oh, Captain Khan. Yeah. I'm actually like almost level like 360 if you count my Xbox oh, account. Your... No, I switched to uh, PC. Oh, okay. And unfortunately, I couldn't transfer over my level and stuff. Uh, <clears throat> no. <laughs> so, but that's okay. So I had to buy it twice, and I'm happy to do so. We appreciate that. <laughs> yep. If you want to buy it a third time, no one's going to stop you. <laughs> you know, I am actually going... Tell on your stream, you know, multiple copies, always a good idea. Yeah, actually, I just hit affiliate today, so I will be doing a giveaway oh, at some you. point. Oh, yeah. nice. Congrats. Oh, Captain Khan just got his revenge on me. And me. Oh, it's nice. Of... Alright, I got him. Thanks. One of my former students is a designer on uh, at Respawn on Jack uh, on Order. Oh, nice. He did, the he did the Illum level, and I teach a level design class, and a lot of the stuff that he did in that level is like directly out of my class, which I'm just so thrilled by. And it actually nice. turns out he's the son of one of the original XVT devs as well. Um, what, what's his name? Was, uh, his name is uh, Nick Cameron. All to poke, so uh, several friends of ours worked on that, a couple of them in, in level design. Oh, cool. Uh, Nick is a fantastic, fantastic designer. Uh, a great guy. And um, so <laughs> the last day of the semester, uh, since we were all doing stuff remote, uh, for my level design class, I told my students like, "Hey, let's just let's do a quick analysis of this level from Jedi Fallen Order," and I came really close to hitting affiliate because I required all my students to turn their Twitch screen. <laughs> oh, that's crazy! <laughs> I'm like, that's not what I'm doing, honestly. I'm surprised you can't just like, as a as a game developer, couldn't you just like email Twitch and? Uh, well, I'm a teacher now. I'm not doing game development, so. And I, I don't, I don't stream often enough to really have that matter. I don't think. Fair enough. So you, you've got kind of a mix here. You've a bill from the original team, and then the rest of us are from the, this team. Any? Oh, 8%. Definitely don't want this to turn into an interview, but I am kind of curious. Do y'all have any any ideas for like supporting maybe like some actual like official competitive scene? Uh, no, it's, it, with the game, we've always kind of said that it's it supports esports in like kind of the fundamental way that it's uh, it's built to be a pretty high integrity multiplayer design. Uh -huh. It's not something we've ever set out to do. Like we, we were never planning to build tournaments or anything. We'd be right. thrilled to see the community build them, but it's not something we were ever planning to uh, formally support. Okay, I was just curious. <laughs> Captain Khan with likes and bolts. There we go. Yeah, he's almost Very gone. Nice. This man and rocks. Love rocks. They're the best. You know the best Actually, pilot in the game is Pilot Air, right? It's true. Yeah, I'm not 
Yikes. Yes, Mr. Hero, I am playing with some of the devs, and I believe one of the former devs for X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter. Is that correct, guys? That is correct. That's right. Well, I guess I not really former that. devs, right? Like you are the, the, the dev from that. Eh, yeah, once a dev, always a dev. Yeah. That's right. Come on, a computer. That is not going to recharge in time for me. Dang it. That was a good fight. This really was. Death row weak. No shields. Defender. Ah, Dead. No. Nice. Dang it. After Khan, I've been a Murph Chief for a very long time. <laughs> I say A-Wing is invincible, but I I'm pretty sure that's not true. I'm proving demonstrably the untrue. <laughs> It is not invincible now. I think I got Khan on my back. Yeah. Can you mark him for me? Uh, he just killed me. Victory in ocean. Oh, oh he's here. at the same time. Nice. Come on. Come I see him. Buddy. I'm coming for you. Ah, uh, these rocks. Nice. Got you. Nice. One more. Let's get him. Death row right here. Hold still, Darth. Uh. Fuck. Nice. Yeah. Good job, guys. It's one, uh. One with the win right now. Oh, Mr. Hero is with the web developer? Ah, do y'all do this often? Are you checking us? Yeah, where you just come play with random people from the community. Uh, I've started to recently, just trying to get a kind of a check in at different levels of skill, as you know, the game That's evolves cool. quite a bit between uh, noobs to folks in the top end. Oh, it definitely uh, and does. Then, uh, Bill was available, so we thought we would uh, spend some time and hang out. Yeah. That's really cool. I probably have time for about one more for me tonight, then I gotta go pick up some dinner. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. But I would love sure. to do this again um, with you guys. This is an absolute blast to, to play with you guys and chat with you. Absolutely. Well, so we'll do one more uh, dog fight since those are pretty quick then. Yeah. yeah. That'd be great. Oh, okay, no. Sorry, I misunderstood that, Mr. Hero. Mr. Hero Gaming on Twitch and a friend of mine is a uh, web developer. Oh, cool. Ah, I gotcha. Well, sorry, I cut off with a load screen. Zoltry, were you good for another one, or did you need to go? I can go all night. Alright, well, let's just do that. <laughs> hey, come to my challenge. Yeah, if I had, like, I send my email to you, Ian, if I had any, I call it a complaint, but uh, it's just like, again, like everybody else, I want more content, yeah, I want more those, missions, those I want more environments. Were, uh, very tight. More <laughs> Rhino, come on, bud. <laughs> Not now. What the pooch said. Playing with developers, okay? I, I am, Corlass. <laughs> So, uh, Zoltra, are you guys playing in the, um, uh, the Calrissian Cup? Um, I do not believe we are, no. Or, I haven't I signed us up for it. Was, Come here. in December, but I think they moved it to sometime in January. Well, if they moved it, we might, for sure. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's been cool to see just a few different, uh, community tournaments popping up here and there. 
did y'all catch any of the um, the SCL scrims with uh, Scout casting the other day? I think yeah, it was I got Sunday. Some pieces and uh, the Creator Clash uh, got chosen mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Never catch as much as I would like, but I try to uh, watch bits and pieces when I can. We, uh, also, now that I've got a few folks, uh, actually, I may have even spiked you. I've, I've a few folks on the list that I've played with, and I just try to spectate now and then, just kind of <laughs> see it from that perspective. That's pretty interesting. Does does like that help you decide on like um, balance changes and stuff like that, or I would to imagine y'all have it's more it's number just better, based stuff. Better huh? understand how the game's evolving, right? Because it's. You know, we, we, we spend years building it a certain way, but once you throw millions of people at it, it, it changes rapidly. Uh, for sure. Like the the current Dead Drift issue. Yeah, like, yeah I mean, D Dead Drift, both, both the existence of Dead Drift and then the way that aiming works around it are things that, like, totally not something we anticipated. Um, you know, and then it's like, okay, what are you going to do about this? I mean, I, I can give you my opinion, but y'all probably would know better. But uh, well, I'm I, curious. What is your opinion? Dead drift itself is awesome. The only change we need is to be able to shoot them while they're doing it accurately, like the, the auto aim issue when somebody's drifting. Yeah, I mean that, that's a straight up bug. So yeah, we're we're we are investigating that. But other than that, I don't think you need to touch dead drifting. To be honest. Have you found that dead drifting, not other players, but are you finding that dead drifting against like capital ships is uh, is effective? Honestly, I have not... Okay. If you mean, like, the dead drift where you just strafe down the side of the MC-75, yeah. not not so much, because you're not doing a ton of damage to any specific hull section, right? Mm -hmm. um, no, there is ways to extend your life when you should not be able to by dead drifting around cruisers and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that's literally make it make get if y'all were to fix that the bug i guess you just called it a bug causing that issue then i don't think dead drifting is a problem at all i think it's something to leave in the game to keep the skill gap like yeah it's been interesting the, the kind of evolution of the way people are using these tools obviously drifting is something we intended and what folks now call micro drifting which we didn't really have a name for uh, <laughs> also also intended um, it's been interesting to see the way people uh, develop and use all the tools. No, for sure. There's lots of... Um, well, that, uh, the game I started playing the most when I was younger was uh, Halo 2 Online. Mm -hmm. That was the first online game I played, and I don't know if y'all played it, but it had the, the oh, yeah, super totally. bounces. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I know that wasn't intended, but I'm glad they never patched it out because it was fun to do. You know what I mean? Well, it's and, like, I mean, Rocket Jump was not intended in the early days. That, you know, it's awesome. But yeah, like, if... Who who cares if I'm going down the, the side of a ship sideways shooting it as long as I can still be shot? Like, that's... It's, there's nothing wrong with using drifting to avoid getting shot. The issue is whenever you should be getting shot, and you're not, right? Yeah, I mean, I think our, our early real concerns are things that flatten the game too much to the point of like, okay, do this strat. This is the strat, not a strat. That's, that's where we get a little uh, twitchy. Fair enough. I'm not saying that's the case with the, the dead drifting specifically, but that's that's the kind of thing that we, uh, we look for. That you're looking for, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you know, dead drifting makes for some really cool clips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised this time of night we're getting this long of a, uh, a wait, though I guess our, our MMR range is very broad. Probably our MMR range, and I don't know if the fact that we're in a five stack changes that. Yeah. Yeah, it's all the above. I mean, it, it cares that we're to five stack. It cares what our total skill is. It cares about the range from from the lowest player to the high. There's a whole bunch of different things that it's looking at. Um, and the more the more uh, we throw at it, <laughs> the longer of the weight you generally have. Hey, Corlath, are you still in the Discord? 
Yeah, I just got matched up. Oh, I was about to say, pop down to the other one and tell the guys to queue up for a dogfight. Get a five stack and queue up for a dogfight. Okay. It'll be fun. Of course, don't quit out of your game, obviously. Yeah, please, please do not encourage uh, bailing and dodging. Ooh, that's a good question, Mr. Hero. And uh, w are y'all okay with the question from chat? I'm sorry, I'm not looking at the chat. Are you, no, no, are you? I'll, I'll read it for you if you're willing to answer. Um, yeah, I'm just on that he, He's asking, are there any hidden stats that determine matchups? Oh, I mean, the, the, the stat that determines matchups is a hidden stat. It's your, your MMR, your matchmaking rating, okay. which is very similar to the skill rating you get when you play ranked fleet battles, except that it's it's under the hood and it doesn't have um, uh, constraints on it. So, like, your, your skill rating, we never let it fall more than a tier below where you are. Or like, you know, if, you're, if you've made it to Valiant, we're not going to demote you down to hero. Um, which makes MMR sense. MMR doesn't have that, that rule to it. So it's, it's similar, just that it doesn't have that rule to it. So... If you just suck and you continue to suck, then your, your MMR will drop. And if you know you're awesome, it'll continue to grow. And that's the main, it's not the only thing, but it's the main thing that drives the way matchmaking works. But of course, the bigger of a group you have, and uh, you know, the, depending on who's out there and who's out there in your region, because you know, it's looking for a good ping, it wants to get a good connection with your mm -hmm. team. Um, matchmaking can get longer as it's like, well, we're, can we find, you know, one guy who's, who's you know, here on the skill ladder and he, Two guys that are here on the skill ladder, it's more variables get added to it. And it does use that for quick, um, quick match or dogfight as well? Uh, quick, quick match, uh, if I remember correctly, is the most lenient, but standard dogfight and fleet battles are very similar rules okay. uh, in terms of how they do matchmaking. It's just that they're they're specific to that mode. So like, if you play fleet battles all the time and you never dogfight, well then we don't know how good you are at dogfighting, so your MMR might be way off from what it really should be. But the more you play any given mode, the, more the better. The game recognizes, yeah, the, the, game, the game starts to recognize your skill more accurately, and your 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 matchups. You're more likely to have a 50-50 shot in each match instead of you know, getting steamrolled or being the steamroller. Oh, I I've definitely noticed a change in matchmaking since the last time we played. So yeah. it's definitely a little bit different. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> it was taking like 20 minutes to find matches sometimes. Depending on the time of the day. Yeah, we, we about a week ago, uh, we overtuned it. Frankly, we're trying trying to really make sure that we're not getting these matches. We're like, Galactic Ace fights person who's never played the game before. Um, so obviously we don't want that. But we I, overdid it a little bit, and we ended up the top people not being able to play at all. Um, what it is now is hopefully a little bit better comprom compromise. No, it definitely is. Because uh, we, we do like to play the game. And we have private matches now as well. So thank you. That's true. Have you got a chance to uh, play the uh, custom games? Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but actually, um, in game, I, I I can only hear you. I can't. Uh, Ian is super, super, super quiet, so I can't really hear what he's saying. I don't know if you can hear me or not, but um, mm -hmm. I actually probably need to. Yeah. Okay. I, um, oh, okay. I got James. I probably need to get going. Of course, I would love to do one more match, but uh, all right, I'm going to remove the faction with, uh, constraint that's making me slow. So. Except whatever <laughs> faction. You can I, I need Sorry. to fail. Um, I don't know if you uh, could hear right. him. It was nice yeah. playing with you, Bill. Oh, it was nice playing uh, with oh, you. I didn't hear I, sorry, I didn't hear any of the conversation uh, from the last few minutes, but... I, I have him talking. I, I don't think oh, okay. Ian can hear you, because he... he no, I can't hear Bill. He can't hear you. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, that's weird. I can hear Bill, I can hear Bill, Ian, totally fine, but... Okay, I just can't hear, hear Ian at all. <laughs> I could earlier, yeah, I've lost you know that I, I need to bail. I'll send him an email. We'll set up another okay. time to play. Thank yeah, you guys Ian, so much. I had no, such a blast. Uh, oh, wait. Who's leaving so I can send you a friend request? Bill's leaving. Jedi. Uh, Bill. Bill Morrison, uh, designer from the original XBT, is who has to leave. All right. JW Jedi. Gotcha. Yeah. It's good to meet you. Nice to meet you guys. Have a great night. Thanks so much for the You too. Uh, James and Pat, do you have another one in you, or sh shall we call it a night? Yeah. All right. Cheers, Bill. Yeah, I can play again. Pat, you still with us? Uh oh. I think he said he could play another one. He keeps cutting out. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'm gonna give it a whirl. I had the faction uh, limited, so I'll make the matchmaking longer, so I'll just do it random this time. Awesome. Plus, we have a slightly smaller group, so it'll be a little bit easier as well.
Oh, I just got a text from Pat saying he's gonna have to bow out. Okay. Is that the? That's the guy who just left, right? No. No. So Bill, Bill just left. Bill, Bill's the the dev from the original games. Uh, Pat is our lead gameplay programmer on Square. Ah. And then, uh, actually, sorry, I don't, I don't know if I did the full round of introductions. Uh, and then James here is our lead gameplay and technical designer. Hey. Howdy. Can you, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay. I, I yeah, can yeah. hear you. Um, Darth Disembowel. Awesome yeah. name, by the way. <laughs> All right, I so now we're, that, we're down to that three. handle since for like 15 years. I just added uh, the Rancor one to mine, but I've been using Zoltry for at least 10 to 15 years. Oh, that's right. We lost Pat, so then it reset. Yeah. Okay, I'll try that again. Yeah. That we can do it. has been my uh, D&D name for forever, so we've all got our old name. Gotcha. Tiberius Reborn and Tiberius Moon on Reddit. Yeah, it's actually, to, to go back to your Halo reference, I was always Tiberius when I played the original Halo with my buddies. Uh, okay. And when we started playing Halo 2, we were on the, you know, the new Xbox. Uh, for whatever reason, I couldn't reuse Tiberius, but it was taken. So no. Tiberius Reborn became my call sign then for Halo 2 and Halo 3. Okay. Nice. So many good times. Like, I don't think there's any other game where I've played like in the same room with other people, you know, like couch co-op or otherwise. No. As much as Halo, Halo 2. 2. Halo 1 and 2, man. We used to, we would drag our big old tube TVs into the car, yep. bring them over to a buddy's house, run Ethernet cables to a router throughout the house. We'd have like six TVs set up. Yep. Yeah. Same thing. Awesome. Good times. I, I actually kind of miss that. From the on online gaming thing, a little bit. Yeah, it's a different time. Yeah. Yeah. Not yeah. saying that online gaming is a bad thing. I really would be now too. Carrying around a flat screen TV rather than a giant CRT. Yeah, TV. True. Who play, <laughs> Who plays on a TV <laughs> nowadays? Oh man. <laughs> hey, any, guys in chat, who plays on a TV? Who plays on a computer monitor? Even if you're on a console. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta interact a little bit, you know. Oop. Oh, okay. R Rancor Two plays on a uh, TV. And Mr. Hero. Okay, maybe I'm outnumbered. Maybe people still play on TVs. I was wrong. <laughs> but Ian's playing on TV, right? All right. Oh, you barely play on console. Yeah. All right. Oh, so we, we did lose Pat. We yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, he, he texted. Oh, that's why. He, he was on uh, he was on the work VPN. That's probably why he was having some issues. Oh, uh, okay. Mm. I was wondering, I've got a weirdly large amount of void problems. Yeah, I found that if I try to play off of the work VPN, it's... Uh... Hey, Malachite Blade, you have a mic, my friend? Wait, that's I, I was gonna. Oh, do you have a mic, maybe? Huh? I mean, it would probably make his night if he knew, you know, he was playing with some of the people that made the game he's playing. Yeah. I mean, he's he's, he's active. He's, uh, that to be to be clear, that is not sultry. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
I'm actually kind of surprised that y'all don't try and stay anonymous while playing. Uh, normally, uh, normally I do because you know, I don't want to recognize the name or anything, but um, uh, you know, if we're playing with other uh, devs and stuff, yeah, it's fine. Fair enough. There's a couple. Like, I played with uh, Eckhart a couple times, so like, he, he, people know me uh, with him, so don't bother to hide it in that case. Oh boy. Oh, we got turrets. Yeah, that's kind of a thing right now. I don't... Uh, he's almost gone. Hold still, dude. Nice. I get all these assists, but I can't finish anybody. Apologize. <laughs> How dare you kill the enemy? Dead drift to get some shields back. Oh no. Does anybody need that resupply? Because I could definitely use it. Okay. Thank you. I had run out of missiles. I could use some hole, but I'll just keep wiggling around here for a bit. I'm assuming you guys know how to do the dr dead drift at this point? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I'm, I'm sure if you were playing with Rando Squad. Uh, yeah, I did play with Rando the other day. Uh, we played you while you were playing against him, actually. Oh, that's right, yeah! It was a close, really close game. Yeah, it was a really good one, I remember that one. Leave me alone. How long can I survive at 30% health? Let's find out. Oh, did I take the resupply from you? No, it's fine. <laughs> Is that Jeremy talking? It's it'll be hard to intercept on this map, but um, if you mark them, I'll help. <laughs> Just because of how many angles they can uh, take on you, we can't really get behind cover. Once we get back in the lobby, I'm going to end the stream. I posted on Reddit about a bug that I found that I could recreate and never got a response. What was the issue? Um, the in-game comms, hearing the enemy team. Uh, yeah, we've actually gotten a few reports of that, but it seems to be uh, very rare. We can't reproduce it, so it's not going to be fixed. I was able to do it consistently for like two days. 
Yeah, there's there's a state you can somehow get into, and then it happens. Okay. But we can't get it into that state. That's the problem. Like, if it happens to someone, it'll, it'll, yeah, it'll just keep on happening until it gets out of that state. But uh, we have yet to ever get that successfully to happen uh, in test. Well, that's that's good, I guess. Uh, not not great, but there's not much we can do about it, unfortunately. Well, I can at least tell you what I was doing, or what I yeah, no, I mean, think caused it. It's just, yeah, if we can't regrow it, then we can't debug it, So I am out of chaff and rockets, so I should probably uh, try and get one of these resupplies here pretty soon. Trying to kill you, Platypus Warrior, and you're just not helping. It's all good. As long as he dies. Uh, finally, I have enough shields that I can actually join the fight again. Oh, are you, uh, defendering? Yes. They were actually doing a really good job of pressuring me, too. Like, they almost got me. Come on. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but they definitely did. This guy is a winging. Feeling I'm gonna regret peeling off of Jeremy. There we go. Got you. Whoa. Oh no. I almost got killed by a mine. Yo, uh, Tiberian Nubble says hi. Oh. Hey, Nubble. And there we go. All, All right, Volcanic Skate. Everybody gives me crap about the Volcanic Skate. All right, I, 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 I will ask them that, Mr. Hero. I'm pretty sure they're about to hop off, and I'm pretty sure they're not going to give me an answer for that, but I will ask. So, uh... I'm curious. <laughs> any, uh... Any plans on new game modes? Not gonna give you an answer on that. You are correct. Yeah, uh, but in its own way, the the non-answer might be a an answer. I will remind you that the game has always been intended to be a self-contained, you know, in-the-box experience. We've added more since then because we've got such great support. But our the game was never intended as a live service, and it still isn't. Just to be I... very clear on that point. I understand and we appreciate that, but we really like your game and want more. <laughs> <laughs> appreciate it.
guys. Oh, we are queued up for another one. Are y'all still going or? I think I'm good for uh, for this evening, anyway. Yeah, I'm like so hot right now, and <laughs> with the VR thing, I'm sweating buckets. <laughs> All right, guys. Plan? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thanks. Oh yeah, love to do it again. And uh, Neville says, Neville says, ask him how many copies he has to buy to make the EA overlords change their minds. <laughs> It's, it's kind of, so Nubble personally has to buy the copies to be clear. Yeah, it's yeah, not, it's not to be the clear. collective number needs to go up. He needs to do it. Uh, sidebar, Nubble, I'll help you out there. <laughs> I love the idea of Nubble personally uh, crowdfunding, you know, to, uh, to, to make it happen. For sure. Alrighty, guys, gotta hop off, but uh, thanks again for playing. Yeah, thanks All for right. the invite and dealing with the questions and whatnot. Thanks, guys. No worries. Sorry and to uh, distract from your usual group there. No, by all means. Thanks. All right. Cheers. Cheers.